Hello, everybody. Mike Brenner coming to you today talking about Super Bowl 50 exotic crossover props. That's right. There's some interesting money to be made during the Super Bowl uh, at halftime after the Super Bowl, and it's got nothing to do with the players on the field. Well, I take that back. There are a few of them that do. Let's run over a few of these, and I'm going to give you some solid picks that I like uh, as far as exotic crossover picks. The first one's very interesting, and you talk about great advertising. How many chicken wings will be sold by Buffalo Wild Wings? All right, it's an over and under. It's set at 12 million. The over over is minus 300, the under is plus 200. All right, as much uh, advertisement and as much attention as this has gotten, I think it's a solid on the over. It's not an official pick, but I think Buffalo Wild Wings will kill it Super Bowl Sunday, selling over 12 million wings. All right, that's one to look at. Another one, all right, Coldplay is one of the featured bands at halftime. What song will they play first? Okay, Adventure of a Lifetime is plus 200, and it goes all the way down to a song of theirs called Paradise, which is plus 1,000. All right, so you can check Bovada. Bovada has a lot of these exotic props, and they're very, very interesting. What color uh, will Beyonce's footwear be? All right, black is plus 150, gray is plus 500. Uh, um, there's four other colors that are involved, so again, check the exotic props. There are limits on these props. Some you'll find $50 depends on what book. So, of course, you can't go in and kill the book with something like this. But it does make it interesting because a lot of people, all right, they'll have one side. And let's say early on in the game, that side's getting crushed. All right, they've already lost their bet, and they don't have any real reason to watch the game except to see who wins. With these exotic crossover bets, you have uh, attention you can pay the whole game through and pick up money along the way. Here we go. Uh, will Beyonce show cleavage? That's right. My producer's laughing right now, but that's awful true. All right. Yes is minus 1,400. I think that's a lock. Of course, she's going to show cleavage. It's one of her best features. All right. No is plus 600. So that, I'm telling you right now, again, it's not an official pick for Brenner, but I think yes is a lock because Beyonce, she'll bring it today and she'll bring the cleavage as well. All right. Will Left Shark, all right, make an appearance? Of course, that's the shark that popped up on stage when Katy Perry was in concert. Caused a lot of ruckus, a lot of advertising opportunities for Left Shark, but there is no um, bet on the no, only the yes. Yes is plus 1,000. And I'm going to tell you, viewers, I have inside information on this, and I mean that with all due respect. A contact in Costa Rica let me know who met, and this gentleman met Left Shark. He won't be appearing. There was a big feud with Katy Perry's team afterwards, and uh, Left Shark won't be making the appearance. That's why there's no no uh, on it. But the yes is plus 1,000. So if somebody thinks he might sneak on stage some way, somehow, hey, bank it because uh, uh, $100 will win you 1,000. All right, how many times will dab or dabbing be said by the broadcasters? Okay, of course, dab and dabbing is the, uh, the pose that Cam Newton strikes after scoring or doing something big. All right, the over two is even. The under two is minus 140. I like the under. It's not an official Brenner pick, but I like the under because I don't think Newton's going to find that end zone a bunch. All right, I may be wrong, but I think Denver's defense is keying and planning and ready for him. So I think that also is why the under is set at 2 minus 140, so the books may know something as well. Another interesting one. How many times will the Golden Gate Bridge be shown during the broadcast? Over a half is minus 500, so if they show it one time, all right, it's minus 500. Under a half is plus 300, so obviously that means they won't show it at all, okay? The big game is in the big city. They're going to show the big bridge, trust me. All right, will Peyton Manning be seen crying during the broadcast, okay? Yes is plus 500, no is minus 1,000. This is one of Brenner's picks right here. I'm telling you, Peyton, and I feel good about this, Peyton's going to go off a winner, all right? I believe they're going to win this game outright. Will there be any crying? Hell no, trust me. He will be so happy to go out a winner, he will be doing nothing but smile. Smiling, all right? Even if they lose, I don't see Peyton Manning crying, okay? All right, yes, he wants to win that one Super Bowl to tie his brother. Yes, he wants to go out a champ. Yes, he's one of the best quarterbacks ever. But I don't think there's that emotion left for Peyton to cry on TV. So I think no is a lock. It's minus 1,000, so obviously the book is on my side on this one. But that is an official pick. All right, Peyton Manning will not cry.
cry during the broadcast. Okay, will the broadcasters mention that Gary Kubiak, who is the coach of the Broncos, was John Elway's backup back in the day? And of course, Elway is the GM of the Broncos, who was their quarterback that won two Super Bowls with the Broncos. Yes is minus 200, no is plus 150. Not an official pick, but a lean, I'd say yes, because as Denver progresses in this game, and I think they're going to win, they're going to show John Elway, then they'll, they will definitely refer to Gary Kubiak. So I like that one as well. All right, Mike Carey is the retired official, all right, that gives his opinions on challenges during the broadcast. Will Mike Carey be wrong about a challenge? Yes is plus 145, no is plus 190, all right? He has only missed two or three the whole year. All right, this guy's sharp, and he missed one last week, so I think there's no way possible that Mike Carey misses another challenge. And I'm telling you, they know. These people know about these prop bets that they're involved in, so pressure's on them, okay? Mike Carey, he won't be wrong about a challenge in Super Bowl, okay? How many times will John Elway be seen during the broadcast? This is pretty interesting. The over is uh, two and a half, and that's even. The under is minus 140, okay? And I think over two and a half, I think they'll show him because, again, all right, I think Denver wins the Super Bowl. And if they're going to be winning that Super Bowl and leading a good amount of time during the game, that camera's going to be scanning up to that skybox to John Elway, trust me. And he'll probably be sipping on a whiskey, but they won't show that. All right, but I like that one. How many times will Archie Manning, of course, he's the father of Peyton Manning, and he used to play for the Saints, great quarterback, never won the big one, but does have two sons that both have won a Super Bowl and both have brought home the MVP trophy. All right, that's huge. Mom and dad got to be pleased. Okay but how many times will Archie be shown during the broadcast? One is minus 140, under one is even. Take the over, okay? Archie Manning will be shown. Again, it reverts to my pick. I love the uh, Peyton Manning and the Broncos to win it, so they will show his father. All right, will Cam Newton propose to his girlfriend on the field after the game? Yes is plus 1,100, no is minus 3,300. All right, again, I think the books know something that I know or feel what I feel. He's not gonna wanna propose on the field after he has just lost the Super Bowl, okay? Not Cam Newton, his pride won't let him. Now, if he wins, there's absolutely that chance because he's that guy that's looking for that attention and is good with that attention. But guess what, Cam? I think it's out of your hands today because I think the Broncos are going to beat you. All right, here's another interesting one to wrap it up. Will there be an earthquake warning during the broadcast of Super Bowl 50? Okay, yes is plus 1,500. There is no choice for a no because what are the odds, right? But then again, let's not forget baseball had uh, the World Series in San Francisco, Oakland and the Giants, and I'll never forget it. There was an earthquake during game five, I believe. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. So you never know, but plus 1,500, I wouldn't take that chance on the earthquake. So there it is. That's a look at exotic props for Super Bowl 50. It makes it interesting. You can be banking money, taking it from the bookie all throughout the broadcast all throughout the game and it's fun it gives some uh, you know it gives some excitement to the game besides just the who's going to win and who's going to lose all right tune in for super bowl 50 it's going to be a great game and don't forget exotic props mike brenner's got two of them that he likes will peyton manning be crying absolutely not and uh oh my second one i got to remember this because i got caught up into most of this here it is this is an official pick right here how many times will newton do the superman pose and I'm saying take the under because I don't think he's going to be scoring or seeing the end zone. Okay, folks, go Broncos, Super Bowl 50, and don't forget to tune in, viewers, for all the betting advantages from SBR. Have a great day.